In this video, we will create a sample options trading system using the Options Stack platform. The options trading system we will create will buy call options whenever the market is considered oversold. We will use the RSI indicator, the Relative Strength Index, to determine whether the market is oversold. The Relative Strength Index is a technical momentum indicator that compares the magnitude of recent gains to recent losses in an attempt to determine overbought and oversold conditions of an asset. An asset is often considered overbought when the RSI crosses above 70 and oversold when the RSI crosses below 30. Therefore, we will create an options trading system that buys call options whenever the RSI indicator crosses below 30. So let's get started. First, let's select the new strategy from the file menu. A generic template will be created where you can define your trading system. The template is written in Scala, a modern programming language that is used by hedge funds and trading desks to create the next generation of trading platforms. Don't worry if you're new to Scala, it is easy to learn and there are plenty of resources on our website to help you get up and running in no time at all. Let's take a look at the template. The template is a subclass of the Strategy Runner T class. This class defines several helper functions to help you write your trading strategy. There are two functions that you can modify to implement your trading system. Handle data and initialize. We will define our trading logic in the handle data function. This function will be invoked once per trading event, such as with each tick of the market data. Within the handle data function, type the keyword this. The keyword this is a special keyword in Scala that refers to the object defined by the template, which in our case is the strategy runner T class. By typing a period after this, our code completion engine will automatically assist you in showing you the available APIs. Our platform automatically provides you context sensitive help with a direct link to our detailed API documentation. Let's select which instruments we are going to trade. Select the Get Instrument API and choose the NDX instrument. Next, we assign the instrument to a variable. To declare a variable in Scala, use the var, var keyword followed by the variable name. Next, let's create the RSI study on the NDX. Type NDX dot to see the list of APIs defined on the NDX instruments. Scroll through the list to select the Studies API. You will see a list of available studies on the NDX. There are over 150 plus studies to select from. Select the RSI study. Now assign the study to a variable so that way we can use it later on. Next, we will use an if statement to create our trading system. An if statement consists of a Boolean expression followed by one or more statements. If the Boolean expression evaluates to true, then the block of code inside the if statement will be executed. So let's define the if the RSI crosses below 30, Boolean expression. Type if, then type the RSI variable and select the crosses below operation. Next, let's define the logic to determine what to do when the RSI crosses below 30. For this example, we will buy call options when this condition occurs. 
Let's view the available option strategies on the NDX instrument by typing the instrument variable and selecting the strategies API. Specifically type NDX.strategies to see the available option strategies on the NDX. The available option strategies include calendars, condors, diagonals, ratios, calls and puts, straddles, strangles, verticals, and collars and covered calls and married puts. For this example, select the call option strategy and assign it to a variable named call option. Next, define the criteria on which call option to buy. The function that is used to specify the call option criteria is the select buy API. Type call option dot to see the available APIs and select the select buy API. You will see a list of criteria that can be used to define which call option to buy. Let's use the Delta API to select call options with 20 to 35 deltas. Delta measures the degree to which an option is exposed to shifts in the price of the underlying asset. For example, with respect to call options, a delta of 20 means that for every $1 the underlying stock increases, the value of the call option will increase by $20. Next, select the Days to Expiration API to select call options with 30 to 40 days to expiration. Lastly, we need to determine whether we want to buy or sell the call option and how many contracts to buy or sell. So using the call option variable, type call option dot and select the buy function. Next, select how you want to size the trade. You can size the position based on cost, credit, debit, delta, margin, quantity, and risk. In this example, let's size the position based on a margin of $10,000. Now let's run the backtest to see how the trading system performs. Based on the backtest results, it appears that buying out of the money call options appear to have resulted in a loss. Let's see if we can improve the trading system. Instead of buying out of the money options, let's buy at the money or in the money options. We can achieve this by changing the delta to a 50 to 70 delta. A 50 to 70 delta range refers to at the money and slightly in the money options. Now let's rerun the back test to see how the new system performs. In this example, it appears that buying at the money and in the money call options outperform buying out of the money call options. As you can see, OptionStack makes it easy to create, back test, and optimize your trading systems. If you have any questions or feedback, please visit our discussion forums. Please also visit our website for additional articles and tutorials. Thank you for using the OptionStack platform.